Basically, when you are playing this game and you're playing the campaigns, you'll see here that we are on Operation Overlord. I've done uh, most of it, but if we go into a mission like Capital of Ruins, you are going to see all of these battalions here. And I've been complaining about my infantry dying all the time. I've constantly got infantry. If we go into the regiment, you'll see that I've got bar machine gunners, there's riflemen, we've got SMG infantry and things like that set up. So if I was to start the mission like this, we're going to jump in with infantry. So if we just take a quick look, we've got sappers, brownings, riflemen and bar machine gunners. So let's go in, check out Echelon 1. So once we've loaded into the mission, if we go to Echelon 1, we can spawn in sappers, brownings, riflemen, and bar machine gunners. So that's what happens if you just, like, if you leave it to default, it's going to select that battalion. But if we jump back to the main menu, if we go back into the mission setup for Capital of Ruins, you can edit your regiment. This is where you're going to do your research through the tech tree. You're going to spend your dollars and stuff. You'll see that I've got $21,700 at the top left over here. And for an example, if I didn't want to use a Browning, I could switch out for a Piper L4. It all depends on what you've got researched. Like you could eventually get the Browning M2 in this mission. You could have the M1A1. It takes your XP through the tech tree. If we go back quickly, I'll show you. If you go to technology, you can use your free XP and your XP earned with the previous thing. Like for an example, with this Browning, you'll see that I've got 168 XP at the bottom right corner. So I click on this and it's only going to use 57 of my free XP. So you would unlock things through the tech tree like that. But if we go back into that mission, if we go to Capital of Ruins, if you want to use something different, which is what I've wanted to do for a while, then all you have to do is click on one of these battalions. So if we go to the self-propelled artillery regiment, you'll see that for Echelon 1, we're going to get things like the M8. And then when we get to Echelon 3, we can start getting the M12 King Kong. And uh, yeah, this artillery is going to be an absolute beast to use. But we could also use things like medium tanks. If we go in here, we get down to Echelon 3, we get the M4A3, we get Shermans. So if we jump in with a medium tank regiment, I'll show you that we're going to, at the very start, have access to riflemen, tank crews, and stewards. So make sure you have clicked on the regiment that you actually want to use on this little battalion thing. So let's jump in with the medium tanks and I'll show you that that's exactly what we get to use. So now we are in, if we go to continue, if we have a look at Echelon 1, we can actually spawn in stewards. And you'll see that our new tank is there. So when it comes to a mission like Capital of Ruins, you'll see all of these different points you have to capture. And there are enemies in a lot of the buildings. So I took a bunch of infantry and I only had like a couple of M2 mortars and stuff. Whereas if I chose, instead of going in with like the infantry, if I chose an artillery regiment, I would have been able to sit back and basically obliterate a lot of these buildings. So this mission took me an hour and a half to record. I probably could have got it done in 45 minutes if I didn't make the mistake of bringing in a stupid infantry regiment. So try and get like an idea of the mission ahead and choose your regiments wisely. Don't just jump in with the default one. Make sure you select it, edit it so it's got the troops that you want. Make sure you're doing your research, spend your dollars to get more recruits and things like that. Basically buff up your reinforcements for the task at hand. It's going to help you out in the long run. It's a mistake I made. I've only just recently figured it out. And it's probably something simple. But in case you are making the same mistake of just going in with a default regiment. Then I thought I'd do this video to try and help you guys out. And on that note what we're going to do is leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about Men of War 2 in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.